Pokemon Moshpit, this is BKC, and I am bringing you a Gen 4 OU battle against my boy Desfane. I lead Starmie, and he leads with the T-Tar. Standard lead Tyranitar takes around 70% from Life Orb Hydro Pump, so uh, he will be able to live that comfortably and then pay back me for the KO. At least I assumed he was running Payback because I assumed he was running the standard lead set. So I figured I'd escape to Metagross on the Payback, threaten him out with a Thought of Meteor Bash instead of my rocks on the Switch, go from there, but he's running Pursuit. So that lets me know he is not running the standard lead set. So uh, I know I'm scaring him out with a Thought of Meteor Mash, so I go ahead and set up rocks, and a Gliscor comes in. So I want to get in my Gyarados to scare some shit out before I have to start taking Stealth Rock damage, because now that he's shown his T-Tar isn't a Stealth Rock variant, I can assume his Gliscor is. So, I get a hunch here that he's going to switch into Starmie because that is one of the most common Gyarados counters and it is often on teams with Gliscor on them because of their great synergy and shit. So, uh, yeah, I make a double switch to T-Tar and now I have trapped his Starmie as well, so uh, that was some good payback. So, he tries to escape for fear of crunch, but I ain't having that and he goes down. Bitch! So, uh... That was kind of quieter than I intended, but keep in mind, it is 1.30 a.m. Anyways, so, uh, Gliscor comes in, and I'm going to my Rotom now, kind of, because I expect him to double switch, and I want to see what else on his team he has to handle, t uh, Gyarados. So he goes to T-Tar, that lets me know he has nothing else to handle Gyarados, but it was a good move on his end, because Gliscor is a prime setup opportunity for Gyarados, and uh, double switching to T-Tar means that if I went to Gyarados, then I would not be able to set up a Dragon Dance, because I would get my ass stone-edged and I would die. So he manages to catch my Rotom instead, so I mean, it's better than having him remove my Sweeper, well, one of my two Sweepers, but it's still not good, because that's my Revenge Killer, so now I can't revenge some shit like DD Dragonite if it gets a boost in, although I don't think he's got a DD Dragonite from the looks of his team. So I go to T-Tar once I see that he's Choice Banded, and then I double switch to Gyarados, trying to create a set of opportunity for myself, because I assumed he was going to Gliscor, but Fane is my boy, and we battled a ton, and he knows my style so well, he knew I was going to double switch to Gyarados, so instead of going to Gliscor, he went to Zapdos. Think about that, he switched in a Zapdos into a T-Tar, because he knew I would double switch. So, that was a great move on his end. So I go to Metagross because I can handle Subroof Zapdos pretty well because I've got Zen Headbutt. I can pressure him into subbing and roosting eventually and went, I'm hoping to catch him on a roost and uh, then EQ him. Or if I'm not feeling that risky, I can just explode. I don't see any further uses for Metagross really. So I'm Zen Headbutting here and uh, I break the sub. So, that's cool. Um, wow, that sounded generic. I am sorry. So, uh, Zapdos is doing some bullshit because I hate facing Subaru Zapdos. It's the number one anti-metagame Pokemon out there. Yes. So, I had a random ur feeling, not urge. I had a random urge to Earthquake because I had a random feeling he was going to a Heatran. Heatran seems like it would fit really well on his team. So I go for Earthquake and I, I do hit something. I hit a Scizor. But, eh, it didn't work. It's it's cool, though, because uh, I weakened the Scizor significantly, so that's nice. Now, I thought he was going to try and take advantage of thinking I was going to use another EQ to get a free switch into Gliscor, so I went for Zen Headbutt to get some damage on that, even though it was kind of unnecessary, because if he does go to Gliscor and kills me, then uh, I will have a free DD with Garrett. So, he switches to Heatran again here, and I'm like, why would you switch to Heatran? Uh, if you were expecting my Gyarados switch, and then he shows Overheat. So I'm like, wow, that's a Specs Train, so that's another great move on his end. I was just sacrificing Metagross, but I was, if I was playing more aggressively and had switched to Gyra, then I would have had my shit rocked by Specs Overheat as I was trying to set up a DD. So that was another great move on his end. I don't know if I articulated that well, but I think I did. Basically, he went to Heatran to surprise kill Gera as it tried to DD in my face, in his face, because uh, Heatran is generally set up bait for Gera. So I DD now, knowing he's at minus two, and that is resisted minus two. That still does a very, very high amount of damage. So if uh, I wasn't, if I was playing more aggressively, that trick of his definitely would have worked. So. 
Uh, yeah, so I get my, the scissor kill, uh, I get the heatran kill, excuse me, and I've got a swords dance scissor on my team. So that's excellent because his number one counter is heatran, and that number one counter has just been removed. So, um, he goes for quick attack, which I was not expecting. I figured I'd die to bolt punch anyways, but, you know, quick attack just made sure he got that kill. And, uh, that's perfect because I've scouted his whole team, and now... Scissor is free to sweep. He has a Zapdos, yeah, but it's a Subaru Zapdos, and uh, he's not going to be doing much to me with his Thunderbolts, thanks to um, my specially defensive EV spread. He's running Subaru's Toxic and Thunderbolt, so uh, he's not getting past me because I've got Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, Bug Bite, and Root, so I can heal off his damage anytime I want. I decided to go for Bug Bite just to see how much it'll do, but he ends up roosting, and that does like 97 or something percent. And uh, he just dies of sand, which was kind of useless because he would have just died at the next bullet punch, but you know, it's cool. It saves a turn of leftovers and sand. The sandstorm rages. So, Gliscor comes and I figured I'd get another Swords Dance up just so I could be sure of the 2 KO. I wasn't sure how much a plus 2 bullet punch would do, and I don't want him uh, stalling me out, so it just eliminated any chance this Gliscor had of stalling me out. It wasn't necessary, but it's a, it's a nice precaution, So, especially if Sand Veil kicks in. So, uh, this is going to just be a Scizor sweep. I should take this time to credit my friend Egbert from Spogan for giving me this great team. Uh, it absolutely destroys fools, and I have wrecked many uh, battlers on YouTube with it, such as uh, Shofu. Shofu got his shit wrecked by this team. No offense, Shofu. Shofu's cool. Shofu is a cool guy. But I have used this team to beat him twice. So, uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of Shofu, we should Gen 5 soon. So, uh, yeah, because we haven't Gen 5 in a while. And last time we played, I got my ship pushed in by Garchomp. But now Garchomp's banned, so I probably stand a chance. Um, I was off topic ranting, but that's because Scizor is just sweeping like a beast. Anyways, thanks for watching. Check out my channel, check out my opponent's channel. Sorry about that, I ran out of time on the Windows Movie Maker timeline. So, yeah. Uh, check out my channel if you enjoyed. Check, definitely check out my opponent's channel. He is a hell of a battler. Very underrated. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Fourth gen is better than fifth gen until the gay shit gets banned.